What we're going to do today is we are going to update the firmware on our Canon ADD. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to uh, check the firmware that you already have installed on the camera. And you can do this by um, pushing down the center button and spinning the dial until you get to program mode, P, and then turn the camera on. And once the camera comes on, you're going to hit the menu button and you're gonna go over to the little wrench. It's the third icon across the top. And then you're gonna to go to the fourth menu underneath that. And if you look at the bottom, it'll tell you firmware version. And you're gonna compare that version with the version on Canon's website. So to get to Canon's website, you're going to do one of two things. You can either type in canon.com, but I have found that it's a lot easier to just type in Canon ADD firmware update, and it will take me to the correct spot. So I have everything I need to know. I actually, you can download a copy of your manual, which is awesome because you can put that on your phone. And then if you have any questions later, you can always go back and look at that. Right now, what we're interested in is the uh, drivers and downloads. And so it immediately detects that I am using a Mac computer. And there is some fun stuff over in the software area that uh, we'll talk about later. But right now, we just want the firmware. So you'll click on firmware, find the version for Mac, and then go ahead and select that. You do have to agree to the terms and conditions. And once you do that, just click on that and download. Now it's going to download into my downloads folder because that's how I have it set up on my computer. And if you look in the top uh, right corner, you're going to see uh, the downloads happening. And this is just telling you, hey, uh, click on the arrow or, you know, you can look down in your downloads folder below. Uh, but I'm just going to look up here and I see that I have an executable file and I'm going to click on that or double click on that rather. And it is going to open this up. And so what it's showing me is the firmware update itself. And then it's also showing me the update procedure. The great thing about this, the update procedure comes in several languages. So if English isn't your native language, you should have an update that um, might be more helpful for you. And you can look for that there. Uh, in this case, this is the firmware update that we want. So you are going to make sure that your camera is turned off. I would suggest formatting your memory card in the camera before you do anything else just to make sure that we're looking at a clean card and so if you don't know how to format your camera you're going to go into the menu button go over to the wrench toward the bottom you'll see format card and click on OK and it will do that format for you and then you're going to turn the camera off once it's off, you will eject your memory card and you're going to put your memory card. If you have a memory card reader on your computer or if you just have a slot where your memory card goes, you're going to put that in and you're going to take this firmware and you're going to copy it. If you're on a Windows computer, you're going to use control C on a Mac. It's going to be command C or you could just drag it over to the memory card. And this is our root directory of the card. And then I'm, I can just drag it over. Or again, I can do the copy paste thing, whatever you are most comfortable with. Once you do that, then you will eject the card from your computer. You will go over to your camera and put the memory card back in. Um, so once you put the card in, you'll turn the camera back on. You'll go ahead and go to menu, go to that wrench and the fourth option and see where it says firmware version. You're going to click on that and then you'll click on camera and go ahead and hit set 
hit OK, and then it will walk you through the rest of the steps to do that. And then um, once the update is complete, you're going to turn your camera off. You're going to take the battery out of the camera for about two seconds and then reinstall the battery and then you'll format the card again so that uh, it's not just hanging out there to accidentally update again and that is it.